previously on the World Enduro Super Series. The BR2 Enduro Solsona saw West Warriors and various amateur class riders battle against the clock at this brand new classic Enduro. Spain's own Joseph Garcia dominated the race on home soil, taking the BR2 title and 1,000 West points. KTM teammate Nathan Watson was right alongside with a solid second place finish. Johnny Walker rounded out the BR2 podium, which shot him up the West ranks into second overall. West leader Manuel Lettenbeekler had a strong enough performance in fourth to extend his overall lead going into the last race of the season. Now we make our way to Germany for the eighth and final round of the World Enduro Super Series. Eight races, seven countries, in search of the ultimate Enduro World Champion. A season to remember culminates here. Where a new Ultimate Enduro World Champion will be crowned. The Gets and Rodeo starts now. Nestled in this frigid autumn forest is Skopau, East Germany's proud motorcycle city. Pros and amateurs and fans have gathered in the surrounding hills for the gnarliest hard enduro in the country, the Getzen Rodeo. This single day two-part event kicks off with the two-hour Getzen race qualifier. Here, riders will weave through dense rocky woods with a short, intense estimated lap time of 10 minutes. Yeah, so the plan here is to, to learn the track as much as I can and the terrain's so weird, you know, the rocks and everything and with the rain that we've had it's going to be difficult. So uh, try and ride my best, learn a lot and then obviously switch around and go good in the next race. So many people are coming out to this event and also so many friends and, and my family is all there so I'm, I'm pretty pumped to be here and it's just an amazing atmosphere. A small army of riders gather in a rugged field for the dead engine mass start. It begins with a bang. The pack of 60 charge the track. Defending gets in champ, Manuel Lettenbickler gets the whole shot. Dominating the season, he only needs to complete one lap to take the title of ultimate enduro champion. He's got it in the bag, but he's still hungry for another Getzen win. He's followed by Johnny Walker and Billy Bolt. Alfredo Gomez, Mario Roman, and Graham Jarvis are right behind. The first laps are furious as riders try to find their rhythm. Walker is able to jump ahead of the pack into first. Foot surgery took Bolt out of the last two races. Now he's back in solid form. On a better line, he overtakes Walker for first. His stay on top is short-lived. There's a problem with his bike. He's forced to leave the track. This insane course is beating up both bikes and riders. On lap five, West champion Lettenbickler is able to reclaim his lead, followed by Walker and Gomez. 2018 West winner Bolt has slipped into fourth. He's having radiator and clutch problems. Not the only one. Blazuziak and Roman also have busted clutches. All three riders are forced to take an extended pit stop. Still plenty of time to get some positions back and get back in a qualifying place. I could finish without the bike is, but it's probably going to destroy the engine. I'd rather be safe and come back. With three broken clutches and a sea of carnage, it seems Wes has saved the most brutal race for last. We're here at the final stop of the WES for 2019 here in Germany for Getting Audio. 
we are in a small town, like two hours away of any airport. This race is the... <laughs> She's not happy. <laughs> Getzen Rodeo is a hard enduro race. It's uh, short. In the morning we do two hours, kind of cross country, but already extreme. And in the afternoon, uh, 80 minutes plus one lap. Uh, tough, tough. Two hours in the morning qualifying. The top 20 go into the final. On the final is the reverse track from the morning. You have 80 minutes plus one lap plus one each loop, which is going to be super tough. It's an all-out battle, there's not going to be any lap traffic, not, none of them kind of excuses. It's just literally, um, you know, the fastest guys going at it for the 10,000 euro prize. It's just brutal, like, you're already so tired after the first race because it's already so technical and then they just go even one step further and it's only gnarly. The advantage is here because it's just a one-lap event, you know, doing lots of laps. Um, you get to know the track really well. Uh, you'll be able to learn a lot going into the second race in the afternoon. I think just stay mistake free. I think the lead's going to change a lot. Um, because of how difficult the track is, we're going to crash, we're going to make mistakes. Um, just try and eliminate destroying your bike. So the conditions at Getson Road here are cold, slippery and crowded. It's a pretty wild place, you know, when it comes to Enduro fans. You know, they just love it. The people are super enthusiastic about it, so it's going to be packed. Uh, riders gonna get a lot of support. It's an awesome race for, for us racers to do. The area is really well known for dirt bikes. You know, there's been uh, like just around the corner of the factory, you know, that used to produce dirt bikes years ago. So the people, they grew up living bike life, you know? So it's, uh, it's cool because they know what they come to see here. Everywhere I travel to, I talk about this race because the crowd is the biggest I ever seen. Cheering you on, super, super loud and uh, you can feel the energy, how, how you feel more, more strength and more powerful about the track. So the discipline at Getson Rodeo is a hard enduro, very hard enduro. The endurance level is high, the intensity is through the roof. Conditions are looking dry, slightly damp underneath, which is going to make it slippy, but I see you still class it as dry. Getson Rodeo in a scale of difficulty is very high. At the speed of this race is definitely slow. I think you'll be in second gear maximum. The conditions, I don't care. It's filled in with my home crowd, so now let's go back to the race. We're now in the final 45 minutes of the Getzen race. Learning the terrain and testing the bikes has been enlightening for all, but only the top 20 riders will make their way to the Getzen champ final. Defending Getzen champ, Manuel Lettenbickler has a substantial lead. Johnny Walker trails, followed by Alfredo Gomez. A quick fix to his clutch, and Teddy Blazuziak is back in the race, riding in fourth. Billy Bolt hasn't recovered as well. Now he's sitting in ninth. Husqvarna teammate Graham Jarvis has won Getson three times. He'll have to do better than his current fifth place if he wants another title and a final shot at a West podium position. West champ Lettenbickler is showing no signs of slowing down. If he rides like this in the final, he'll win both West and another Getson title on home soil. Comeback hit, Johnny Walker trails him in second. Gomez is riding strong, sitting in third. Until a determined Taddy Blazuziak overtakes him. Now he's on the hunt for his teammate. He's able to overtake Walker, but doesn't have enough time to catch the leader. After two hours, Manuel Lettenbickler crosses the finish line in first. He is the new Ultimate Enduro World Champion. He gets a massive hug from his father and teammates. They know all the hard work, sacrifice, and skill has paid off. But it's not over. The dedicated rider he is, he quickly shifts his focus to winning another Getson title on home soil. It was a really tough race, to be honest. Like at the beginning, I struggled a lot, and at the uphills especially, but then I could find a good rhythm and was riding really good. And let's win Getson, I would say, I'm trying my best to, to win it on my home car. So it was really cool. 20 Titans were meant to take to the track, but Czech rider David Cyprian pulled out of the race due to a knee injury. Now a cast of 19 athletes head for the Getzen Champ final, 
led by Ultimate Enduro World Champion, Manuel Lettenbichler. Yeah, Manuel Lettenbichler has had the best season ever. Everything's gone his way. He's had a couple of little rough times, but he's just gained in confidence throughout the year. He's had that good gradual progression. You know, he's from a young age and he's got uh, his dad obviously helping him as well. He's got a good setup. So he's got all the, the key points in place and he's put it to good effect. I like him so much because he's not only a good driver, he's going with his dad and one mechanic in his van, uh, driving so many hours uh, with less uh, material than the factory riders, and he proved that he's uh, top in the world. Mani had a, had a really, really good season. We worked, um, or he was working also really hard on the bike, you know, on his physical training. Um, it was a consistent season also, he improved a lot the other disciplines like cross country and, um, and classic enduro. Yeah, for him it's a good season also for us, so we worked really hard for him. Every race was like top three or top four, so all together it's like a perfect year for him. The best moment in this West season I think was definitely the win at Red Bull Romaniacs. Romania was super tough this year and then second in Houston, nobody expected that because it was sun and a fast race. It was very important for the points in the championship, I think. For his championship point of view, then obviously the, the podium at Hoxton is really what's done it for him. Um, I think that's when he definitely got one hand on the, on the title. <laughs> He's learnt really fast, like from the first year doing these classic enduros and cross countries for the first time and then comparing with this year, you know, he's made such a big step so fast. He's got a lot of talent on the bike. I think it's uh, really showed this year. I'm really proud and um, he worked hard since he was a, you know, a small kid. Um, the plan was to win championship and I think we together did a good job. All right, Manny, welcome to the club. First and second West champions, let's keep it in the younger generation. On the extreme races, we all know you are a good rider, but uh, also surprised all of us, especially in Solsona, you were very fast. Congrats, I'm waiting for you. <laughs> Congrats, Manny, on a, a good season. You know, you've rode really well. Uh, we've got one more race to go, so please let me win one. Good job, Manny, and uh, enjoy, uh, enjoy the after party. Manny, I'm so proud of you. You've done an amazing job all year. Absolutely pumped for you. Fantastic year, he's got the championship in the bag, but uh, this one's mine. Nearly 10,000 fans from all over Europe have lined the track for the Getson Champ final. Setting off in the opposite direction from the morning's Getson race, 19 riders have 80 minutes plus one lap and a run through the savage Red Bull X loop to complete the course. Now I'm just blessed to be here, you know, like it, the crowd is amazing, the atmosphere is just awesome. So I will just go out there, have fun, give my best and hopefully it's working out also for a good get to the result. Yeah, obviously uh, Wes is the main focus for me, but um, to take the overall win here is, is what we've come here to do. And I think we'll be going hard from start to finish. All these guys here are going to be fighting for the win, but you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. And obviously if I take the win, I'll stay where I'm at in the championship. The cannon roars. Manuel Lettenbickler takes the lead. He's chased by Tadej Glazusiak, Johnny Walker, Alfredo Gomez, and a hungry pack. On the first uphill, Lettenbickler rides fast and clean. While Walker and Glazusiak inch their way up, Gomez moves into second. All three are fighting for the number two spot behind Lettenbickler on the West Podium. In the front, Lettenbickler continues with his series leading smooth technical style. Walker pushes past Gomez and gets his bearings. Blazuziak takes an opportunity to slide by both of them. Now the Polish rider is nearly a minute and a half back trying to close the gap. Walker loses position as Team Husqvarna, Gomez, and Jarvis climb by. 
It's Gomez who claims third. If he can get ahead of Lezuziak, he could get second overall at Wes. Walker won't go down without a fight. Will they assess their next move? He tries to pass, but fails. Barely hanging on in third, Gomez bounces off the boulders. The rest of the pack jockey for position as they're chewed up and spit out by the treacherous trails, including three-time gets and winner Graham Jarvis and Mario Roman. Hashtag sorry, bro. The carnage can't stop Let Migler from holding position. Johnny Walker's chance at second on the West podium could be fading away as Lettenbigler laps him. A minute 15 behind Lettenbigler in second, Lazuziak is closing the gap. Gomez is now a distant third, but if he holds this position and Walker stays in his current sixth place, Walker will still take second overall at West. Teammate Billy Bolt looks like he might be getting his second wind in fourth. But he gets tossed like a rag doll in the menacing checkpoint eight. Walker gets stuck behind Jarvis. As Blazuziak laps them both. Fatigued front runner Lettenbickler is starting to hit the wall. Still in second, and now just over 20 seconds back, veteran rider Blazuziak makes the climb. Will experience prevail over youth? Over five minutes back, Gomez is still trying to hold on to third. Up ahead, Lettenbickler continues to lose steam as Blazuziak makes a surprise appearance. The fight for first is on. As they gun it into the last lap, Lezuziak drops the hammer and overtakes Lettenbickler for the first time at this explosive Getzen Rodeo. Now, let's meet the local club who created this epic event. Right now we are at the uh, Enduro Hotspot in Germany, at the uh, Hard Enduro Hotspot in Germany. We are at the Getzen Rodeo. The first race took place in 2006. It was a small race for some local riders. About 18 riders took place. Now it's part of the West, it's the final of the West. This is really a dream come true, it's, it's amazing. This race, you know, it's organized uh, by the local guys. I mean, a uh, few passionate Enduro fans. Uh, but you know, hey, they're Germans, they do it right. So, uh, you know, like super well organized. It's such a good race. I'm, I'm pumped for the guys that run it. All our club members have their daily jobs. Falco, for instance, is a um, car mechanic. I'm a anesthesia nurse. Tino, who does lots of the filming for our race, he is a bus driver. So we are all plain, simple people, and this is our heart, this is our, our love. Yeah, it's a moto club of uh, really enthusiastic uh, German guys. It's just such a fantastic sport. When you see the, the riders fight, it's so unique. They give everything, and then you have the crowd behind the riders cheering them on. It's so wild, one of the hardest sports. It, the sound of an enduro bike is awesome. Totally not typical organizers, I would say. They are more just a family. They actually try to put on such a good show and just make it as perfect as possible for the riders. You can tell there's a lot of thought and a lot of time going into it. The track, the organization, the, the paddock, all of that seems to a really high standard. When you walk through the paddock, everybody greets you and yeah, it's like a big family. Yeah, the organizers here, you know, they're just doing it you know, for their own satisfaction. They're not doing it as a, as a business as such. So they just love what they're doing. And uh, I don't think most of the guys even ride. So they're just enthusiastic to, you know, see us guys tested to the limit. I do not ride motorbikes at all, no. I used to when I was a teenager, but I don't, have, I don't own a bike. This is part of the track. Here, for instance, you see there is not a single track from a bike. Nobody has ridden this track from between last year's race, and nobody will ride it before the start of the race. So it's all virgin. Well, what happens today, this is the dream come true.
back to the mayhem. In the final lap, Taddy Blibzuziak is still leading ahead of Manuel Lettenbickler, but in a race this brutal, nothing set in stone. He's blocked by a back marker. With every hesitation, Lettenbickler gets closer. He speeds up the slope. But there's no easy way around the traffic. The Weary Warriors hit the infamous Checkpoint 8. Blazuziak attacks it. His bike ricochets off the rocks and nearly takes out a marshal. Lettenbickler has yet to arrive as the Polish leader digs deep for another attempt. The young German closes in. Using his back tire, Lettenbickler finds traction. He makes the attempt. He gets kicked off his bike and caught midair by his father, Andreas Lettenbickler. It's this level of teamwork and dedication that have won them the series championship. Now in second, Lutzuziak makes his third attempt. He's finally up the beastly boulder. The struggle doesn't end here. They still have to conquer the ruthless, untested, and super technical Red Bull X loop. To a roaring crowd, Letton Bickler goes first. The battle is over for all the lap athletes. Only three riders remain. Letton Bickler, Lazuziak, and Gomez. Lazuziak is giving it everything he's got to catch up. Then, another savage stumble. Gomez is closing in. If he can take second over Blazuziak, he will also get second on the West Podium. The Polish pro's fuel pump appears to be busted. His impressive performance is now at a standstill. Gomez enters the X loop and overtakes the broken down Blazuziak for second in the race and in the series. Lazuziak's race is over, but he's guaranteed third place at Getzen. Lettenbickler has a seven-minute lead over the Spaniard, but Gomez won't catch him, and they both know it. With a battered bike and body, he goes down. But all he has to do now is push through the pain and make it across the finish line. Thousands of fans are losing their minds as Manuel Lettenbickler crosses the finish line for one of the most powerful finishes in hard enduro history. I'm just so tired right now. We made it perfect, perfect weekend again. Defend my gets in real title, which is awesome. Got the West Championship, which is awesome. And now I'm just, just pumped, you know, like there were so many friends coming out and my whole family and to win in front of them, it's just amazing. So I'm super, super happy. Over nine minutes back, the only other rider to complete the X loop, Alfredo Gomez finishes in second in West and the Getzen Rodeo, ahead of a disappointed Taddy Blitzuzia. Taddy had a crash, I'm sorry for that. Uh, he couldn't make it till the end. Till the checkered flag, the race is on, so really happy with the second place for me, for the team. I'm very happy. Here's the Getzen Rodeo podium. Taddy Blazuziak takes third, Alfredo Gomez is second, and Germany's own Manuel Lettenbickler takes the Getzen Rodeo title for the second year in a row. Even more impressive, he takes the title of ultimate Enduro World Champion on home soil, ahead of Alfredo Gomez in second, Johnny Walker in third, Taddy Blazuziak in fourth, and Graham Jarvis in fifth. Season two is done and dusted, and we leave you now with the highlights from another unbelievable World Enduro Super Series. Till next season, I'm Troy Mannering saying, keep the rubber side down. You're nothing but weak and insecure. It's always wrong. One day you'll fall. One day you'll fall.